everything she says about a job about this about this i don't believe her so i went to her work she was not there so i messaged her i was inside her work and i was like oh um i might come a bit earlier she's like no i don't come earlier i was like where are you i was like at work and i say where you work again she said the place you know i went are you sure she went yeah i said that's funny because i'm standing there and you're not there i was like got you What is up, guys, and welcome back to the One Night in Bangkok podcast. Thank you guys so much for checking out the first few episodes. I've read every single comment, even the ones that are completely trashing me. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching and letting me know what you think down below. Tonight, I am bringing you a special guest that I met a few years ago at a bar in Bangkok. We're going to talk all about coming to Thailand and what he's been up to in the past I think two years since I met you. Oh, I'd say so. Yeah. We're yeah. the game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we get started, if you are coming to Thailand soon, if you're moving here, if you live here, hit the subscribe button. There are so many cool people coming on in the next few weeks, and I don't want you to miss anything. Tom, aka, AKA Roaming Hogan yes. on YouTube. Yes. I met you in a bar, the game at Nana, about two years ago. And we were playing pool for a while. And the interesting thing is, at that time, it was during COVID. Yeah. And it was also, I think, around the holidays. I think it was around Christmas time. And if you're in Bangkok around Christmas time, the people you meet are, they always have some kind of story or situation because who stays here during Christmas time? You know, it's either like fugitives from the FBI, people without a family, or you <laughs> basically <Only me. laughs> and uh we played we played a few games of pool yeah. i didn't know anything about youtube or whatever but at some point you mentioned that you uh well first i think you mentioned that you were waiting to go to the philippines yeah because your was girlfriend it. was there yeah. and you were waiting for like them to open up after covid or something like that and then like matter of factly you mentioned you had a youtube channel and I looked it up, I think, on the spot. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I, because when you said it, like, everybody says they have a YouTube channel, yeah. right? But you had, like, 18,000 subscribers at the time. Yeah, and, probably around there. But I noticed you weren't posting, and so I asked you about it, and you were like, oh, I should probably post more. Now, uh -huh. you have almost 60,000 subscribers, oh, yeah. and you, you have been posting a lot. So a lot has happened between then and now. Yeah. But before we jump into that, can you just give, like, a quick intro like who you are where you're from and how oh, did you end up in thailand okay that that's crazy this is gonna be a bit long so everyone always asks me in my own videos as well where i'm from i was born in england but i never really lived there i lived in ireland all of my life because my dad's irish so i'm like half breed in that way you know and yeah basically i first come to thailand i would say over 10 years ago Wow, that is, a, that is a long time in yeah. Thailand. Because, you know, there's people, a lot of people that are here now that came like during COVID or yeah. after COVID. But to be here 10 years, you yeah. must have seen it change yeah, a lot. Yeah, a lot. It changed a lot. But um, the reason I first come, I knew nothing about Thailand. But I met a Thai girl who was living in Ireland. And then she said, oh, I want to take you to my home. I was like, okay, I've never been to Thailand. I know nothing about it. Let's Let's do it and like anything the first time you go there everything's so different you know the culture shock everything and i was like oh this is a bit uh crazy but you know i don't know I, I kind of fell in love with it the first time and then just kept coming back year after year after year working saving coming back for two months pretty much every year and then i just had enough of going back and i was like i have to figure out a way to stay here full time yeah, that's the exact same feeling I had. Yeah. You're like, I, I went back to the US and I said, I don't know how I'm going to get back there, but I have to figure out a way to get back. Yeah. Yeah. And here we are. When you moved here, did you have a plan of what you're going to do? Like work, living? Like, what was that like? I'm the opposite to a lot of people. No plan, nothing. Actually, like I, when I told you I was waiting to go back to the Philippines, right? So I went back to the Philippines. Obviously, it didn't work out over there. I didn't like living there. So I was just like, I've been coming to Thailand for ages. I like it there. I know it there. I know many friends there. It's just easy for me to go there, you know. And I, I was like, I'll just figure it out when I get there. Yeah. And that's pretty much how yeah, it went. I, you know, I, I kind of hear that a lot, though, because I think most of the people 
that moved to Thailand, maybe not now, because yeah. I think the whole Thailand thing has become a little more mainstream. So maybe people are planning a little bit better. But a lot of the people I talk to that have been here like more than five years, it always happened by accident. And because of that, like including me, we didn't have like a good plan about coming out and living here. Yeah. It's not like we had all the pieces put together before we got on the plane. So when you got here, you were living with your girlfriend. You said you had a Thai girlfriend. When I first arrived Yeah, when here? you first arrived here. What, the first time or like when I decided to live here? Oh, when you decided to live here, that was without her? Alone. Oh, okay. Alone, yeah. But I, I had many friends here from over the years, so I was like, I was so comfy. Not foreign friends, like Thai friends. And yeah. like literally within, I think, three days, I had my condo sorted and everything. So I had like no pressure. I knew I would as well. I knew I'd have no problem like doing it. So for me, it was pretty okay. easy, you know, but I'd been coming here a lot. I w like if people ask me, I would not recommend to just come like that, because if you know nothing about the country, you're going to get screwed, basically, I think. Yeah, I was that kind of that person. Yeah. I came here. I knew nothing. Yeah. I didn't even know how to get a BTS card that first day. Like if I had a camera film, like it would, <laughs> it was not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stressful. What did you, what was your plan though? Like, did you think you were going to find a job or what were you going to do no, did you have savings or not like i had some savings uh but pretty much i landed in kind of youtube in covid when i was stuck in the philippines so that's where the story with my youtube kind of started but w how long after coming here moving here mm -hmm. did you start youtube and did you go to the philippines so uh, no i actually started youtube so so my story is like this i started youtube in the philippines then philippines got locked down right and the lockdown in philippines was terrible and i was like i need to get to thailand because fuck this basically you know and as soon as thailand opened and they were doing the whole quarantine hotel and stuff that's when i come and decided right i'm just going to stay in thailand and live here so i had to do the whole quarantine hotel yeah, and too, all that yeah. stuff you know and yeah, I was kind of doing YouTube before. I wasn't really like able to make a living from that, but I just said, oh, it's okay. I'll stay in Thailand and just continue on, you know? Yeah. So that wasn't that much, that wasn't that much uh, before I met you then, right? Because I think I met you, if it's winter 2023 now, I probably met Did we you. meet before COVID though? It was definitely, it, you know, I know when it was. Because, and I want to talk about this, it mm. was, you actually inspired me to go to Cambodia, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So that was probably December or January, 2021, January, 2022, okay. around that time, I think. I'm terrible with yeah. times. That's the so thing. So when, right. when is this happening? Like when you decided to move here, like what year is that? When I decided to move here, yeah. pretty much when, oh, I'd have to check back my videos, when I finished with the girl from the Philippines and I was just like, oh, I'm just going back to live in Thailand. Oh, so you're you're talking about MJ? Yes. Oh, okay. No, I'm talking about before. This is before. Be this was before that. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So, so what? So you? When I met you, then were yeah. you living mostly in the Philippines or Thailand? Yeah, I'd been living in the Philippines for two years. Okay, I see what happened. And then so I was like, I was still coming back to Thailand, but I was always going back to the Philippines, and then. I didn't really like to live in the Philippines for many reasons. So I was like, I'm comfy in Thailand. I know everything about Thailand. Okay. So you mostly were living in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And then I remember you were waiting for the visa situation to open up because yeah. you told me this girl, yeah, which yeah. by the way, you, you made it sound like, oh yeah, I want to go see my girlfriend. I'm waiting for it. She has a YouTube channel too. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was so surprised meeting you in this bar. And you're, as a matter of fact, like, oh, yeah, I got a YouTube channel. It's nothing. And then, oh, yeah, my girlfriend. I look her up. Yeah. She's got like 150K on YouTube and whatever. So um, the pe these, these are the people you meet at a random bar in Bangkok on yeah. like a Tuesday night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> when uh, you ended up going back to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. and, and by the way, I, I looked up one of the first video I watched on your channel uh, I think it's called something about like life in the province uh -huh, in Philippines. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the the crazy thing about that video, or the thing I really uh, was interested in, you had the bucket shower. Yeah. And at that time, 
I thought that was like wild. Now, I actually, after that, also had the experience, not in Philippines, but in Thailand, in of, of, the, of the bucket shower. Mm. And boy, I think everybody that comes here <laughs> has, should, to, do has to try that. Yeah. yeah, it should be like a tourist thing. They should like set it up. But anyway, um, no, but what I really liked about what you were doing in like your channel and your whole like, I don't want to say personality because it's not, it's just who you are. You're so real yeah. and you know how it is. Oops. You know how it is. A lot of uh, a lot of people online they make it seem like living here is you know like they're always in a five star hotel and they're always eating yeah. breakfast in the pool yeah. and everything is just so great all the time. And so I like your stuff because yeah. it's so unfiltered and it, it really is how it is. Yeah. But that's that's the way I like to be as well. Like even in this, I don't really care what we talk about. I can say anything. It doesn't bother me. I know hate online always comes like yeah, to you yeah, too yeah. sure i know some people care about it too but i'm just like oh, i just show my life if i say something people don't like it's up to them you know if they don't like it i always see it as like they don't feed me they don't give me money i don't know them they don't really know me they just see what they see online so up to them yeah. you know but like like yourself you've probably met like subscribers and that in the street no one says anything in your face it's just all keyboard well, warriors let me tell you has this ever happened to you so he's probably going to see this. So, hey, if you're going to see this, <laughs> I, I was in a nightclub the other night okay. with, with my friend and uh, we were at Route 66 in okay. RCA. You ever been there? I've been to RCA, but yeah. I don't really go in the clubs. Too so much. it's like my friend's favorite place. Yeah. It's, you know, it's not my favorite, but it's okay. So we set up, they have all tables. It's like Thai style. It's all, it's all basically Asian crowd. Yeah. There's basically no foreigners. Like me and my friend will be the only ones in a room of like a thousand people. And it just so happens the table next to us are like two Asian guys. And well, the third one, he, he's Asian American. I guess I heard them talk. Okay. They're Asian American or some of them were. And uh, like 30 seconds in, he goes, Eric. And I said, oh no, because the thing is I've been in some other people's videos now. So I'm never sure if people recognize me from this from my other channel or from being in someone else's video. The, the problem with this though is now we're stuck with them all night at the table next to them. And at one point, um, there were some girls walking around that like didn't have a table. Mm -hmm. And I heard him turn to his friend mm -hmm. and say, oh, we should get those girls over here. We have two tables. And he points to his table and our table. Oh, no. And then, but you know, <laughs> you don't want to be rude. Yeah, yeah, you you yeah. know, he was super nice. He was, I think he's new in Thailand just a few weeks. He's like, in that honeymoon phase and yeah they were already drinking pretty heavily at like 10 p.m so but you ever have a situation where like you meet someone and they're just yeah and i'm i'm the same sometimes like i always say if i do a youtube video or a live you know i always say guys if you meet me like just say like oh what's up i'll watch your video so i know like straight yeah. off the rip because sometimes like you you're out and about you're drunk you meet people and then they're like hey what's up come and shake your hand and you're like uh, where did I meet them from, you know? Do, do you ever have someone you're walking down the street or something and someone's looking at you kind of weird? Yeah. And you know that they know, like they recognize you, but yeah, they won't say anything. Yeah, yeah. Or you're eating and they're just staring at you. And like <laughs> yeah. before you just think if it's a girl, like, oh, maybe she's looking at me because yeah. she likes me. But now I'm just like. But now it's a dude. <laughs> why, yeah, why they're staring at me? But it's okay. I, I never mind I, it. I know? walked into the building downstairs here last week. And this like middle-aged guy looks at me like he saw a ghost and he won't say anything, but I have a feeling that he saw me, if he's moving here, he saw me do like a condo review in this oh, building okay, yeah. and he's thinking like, is this the guy? Yeah. But yeah. I just, I didn't For sure. It, yeah. I mean, it happens a lot because yeah. a lot of the people watching are around here as yeah. well, you know, will come in in the next few months. So I was in Soy 4 the other day, Soy 11 the other day, and hey, I want yeah. you, let's have a beer. I get that quite a lot around And, and by the way, just, just to make it clear, I, I love talking to people and, and meeting people. I'm not, I don't want it to yeah. sound like negative, yeah. but yeah. Oh, I'm the same. I always say if yeah. someone's there and wants to come up and talk, I will buy them a beer. They can buy me a beer up to them. Sure. Um, okay, so I meet you in this bar mm -hmm. at Nana, holiday season. You're waiting to go to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. You go to, back to the Philippines, I guess, and then what happened? Oh, God. So I was in, I went back to Cebu 
and everything was okay you know i didn't really like to live there but it, it was good philippines well, the you, people you said are so that friendly. why do you say that like what are the big differences if someone has mm. never been there because i've never been there if i compare to thailand is yeah. it oh so many the number one thing i would say about the philippines why people choose to go there it's like because the people are so friendly and i know thai people are really friendly but filipinos are just on another level and the english level is very good there's no like miscommunication yeah. there too much but uh, how do you say it's like thailand's very convenient bangkok especially and you don't realize it until you live here for a like long period of time it's easy to get something done it's easy to get everywhere like you know yourself if you have money you can pretty much get everything done here pretty quickly but the philippines it's just a disaster nothing gets done there it's stressful they have a lot of blackouts electricity's gone for days even in the cities you know unless you're staying in the building with the generator electric's gone it's just it's just a nightmare to be honest like for someone like you as well who's working like we're working online it's it's a disaster yeah. really so i've never been to the philippines mm. but around the time i met you i needed to go out of thailand yeah. to, to do a visa thing and i was trying to figure out which country to go to and i think you were the one that suggested cambodia, cambodia yeah. and so i said okay i'll just listen to this <laughs> random stranger i just i just <laughs> met a bar I don't know, is that I don't a good know. Idea in bangkok <laughs> yeah. um so i went to cambodia and i actually i arrived in phnom penh like two days after they reopened tourist visas. Like I was right there. And it was so strange because there were almost no foreigners. Mm -hmm. And to the point where if I walked down to the, down the street, people would like, you no, know, the girl would tap her friend and, and point. I, I'm assuming because like they haven't seen, you know, anyone that looks like us in a long time. So I like, I imagine that what I saw in Phnom Penh is kind of, similar to what you're talking about in the philippines oh yeah or would you say it's even worse in, in the philippines they love foreigners they really do like on which is strange for me considering they like speak english so good i feel like in east and in thailand you get the same feeling if you're around there they're like oh falang falang you know but in philippines it doesn't matter if you're in manila cebu the main cities where many foreigners go you walk in the mall they stare at oh, like, really? like sometimes even in the philippines i don't mind about that but i'd like go to order a coffee for example in the coffee shop there'd be like four girls behind the counter all pushing each other and giggling like who's gonna serve him <laughs> and it's like they can all speak english what's wrong with them why are they so giddy you know and then they'll say something like oh you're so handsome and run away and it's just like but they yeah, do to yeah. everyone of course you yeah. know they're just excited i think to see foreigners i, I don't know yeah i don't know what i was expecting when i went to cambodia but i was really surprised about how far behind it was For from thailand, thailand. Oh, yeah. as far as like the infrastructure yeah. and the development um like it, people got so mad at me because i kept comparing it to thailand mm -hmm. but that's the only reference point mm -hmm. i have and um it, it was just far smaller and less developed than I thought. Not mm. to say I wouldn't, I would hate living there. I wouldn't hate living there. I, I had a good time there, but I know what you're saying. Thailand is so lucky to have Bangkok because without Bangkok, it's a completely different country. Here. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I always say, even like if you have Thai friends and you ask them, they go outside of Thailand on holiday, they like it, but they always want to come back to Thailand about, I don't know, the food, convenience, everything here is just easy in Bangkok. Yeah. I have Thai friends when they go outside in Vietnam or somewhere and they're like, oh, oh, I miss the food after one or two days. And they're just like, I want to eat Thai food. You yeah, know? I was that person. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you go to the Philippines, you have this girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And I, I almost feel bad asking no, you about you it. No, you can ask. Because <laughs> you, people watching this probably don't know, but like, I feel like you're almost like a celebrity couple. Like everybody online yeah. is talking about, and, and you know, it's probably annoying, especially when people don't, they don't really know what's going on. They yeah. just, they just say whatever in the comments, they just make assumptions. But um, can you talk about what, like what happened with that or why you ended up back in Thailand? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So basically, um, we tried, me and her tried, she come to Thailand. She likes it here. She really likes it here. But I just had the feeling like she cannot, 
leave her family like filipinos are very like attached to the family and that's another thing that's like annoying like you want to have your own space and you have like eight families sleeping all over the house on the oh. floor everywhere so like you don't really get privacy which i don't mind because i'm like where, chill. where is she from from cebu okay so i'm pretty chill and cool with all people but even for me like i thought oh it's fine for me and it was fine i never mind the family being around because it's her family you know but after a bit you know you go to the toilet for example or shower and there's like kids climbing through the window oh, and yeah. you're just like for fuck's sake you know like I know give me mean. a bit of a break or so you just said like can't do it here i want to go back to well Thailand. i said yeah like tr let's try and move somewhere else and she tried to come here for a month and then I said, let's extend. She's like, no, I want to go back to the Philippines. And I'm like, but I don't really want to go back, you know? Yeah. You know what this reminds me of? And this is the first time I, I've seen it, like heard the situation with a guy. So a lot of men, they yes. come to Thailand, they meet a girl, but yes. they can't stay in Thailand. They uh -huh. want to go back to their home country. Yeah. And a lot of times they get married and they end up taking the girl with them. Yeah. And that always was kind of a little bit strange to me because it's a weird situation because if you are living here in Thailand and you meet some random guy and you like the guy, yeah. that doesn't necessarily mean you'll like living in his, his home country, country. For sure. So, you know, if I met a girl from, I don't know, Sweden here, mm -hmm. even if I love the girl, I don't want to go live in Sweden. Sweden yeah, right? Sure. So I've never been to Sweden, so I don't know. Maybe I would like it, but, you know. But that's kind of what the situation is with you. Yeah. You might love the girl, but you can't, you just Cannot. can't deal with yeah, the situation. Yeah, like sometimes I think this happens in life and people will always say, oh, you're crazy for doing that. You should just stick it out. But I'm the person. Life's short, right? You only get like one life. And I just think, I just want to be happy. And if I'm not happy living there, why will I force something when, okay, maybe this isn't meant to be. It's okay. You know, it's life. We didn't have kids together. We didn't have anything together. So just just go, you yeah, know? Yeah, sure, sure. Talk about it. Okay, it wasn't, like, probably the best, like, breakup, obviously. She was sad and everything, but I was like, I have to be happy too. And if I stay here, I'm not going to be happy, and then I'm going to put that onto you yes. because I cannot put onto anyone else. Yes. And I'm, like... I'm quite a like chill and relaxed person, but I was just getting very like irritated out there, to be honest. Yeah, I, I feel you. And I, I think you're totally right because and I, don't, I don't know how things ended up now, but maybe it's better off, you know, cutting it off sooner yeah, than later because sure. then maybe things can be a little more for sure easy, you know, between yeah. you two. And like guys come in here, I think they fall into traps with girls like that a lot. They're just like, no, they force it, they force it, then they have a baby, then they're stuck and she starts going crazy and it just it never works out you know yeah you just have to be happy yourself and if you're not happy go and do what makes you happy that's it for me so when did you get back here was it about a year ago or i've, I've been like back here now yeah yeah i've been here a year like my contract's pretty much finished so one year okay i think i if i remember correctly when you came back you did a tour an apartment tour yeah and i'm going like this because I, this is what i mean like your whole thing is so real and unfiltered like you know a lot of people they're showing off their condo like they're on mtv cribs <laughs> and you're just like here's my room yeah, here's my refrigerator my <laughs> there's beer in it yeah. there's my desk over there <laughs> you know i it's cost this much yeah and you know it's i just think it gives like such a like real view of, of what it's like here um i just want to say this as yeah. well for the people watching if people ask me and they do like, what do I do when I'm here? I just say, I'll work online. I never say I'm a YouTuber or anything for, cause for me, I'll be honest about YouTube. I don't, I don't really give a shit about it if I do it or not, you know? So I'm just like, you can see from my channel, it's random. Sometimes I walk around like dodgy places. Sometimes I go to nicer places. Sometimes I go with my Thai friends. Sometimes I do an apartment tour. It's just like totally well, random. I've noticed a trend lately. Yes. And, and actually, sure. I've seen a few comments that kind of, uh, where is it? I saw a funny one today. Oh, I have um, many funny comments. <laughs> he, this one says, he's living every man's dream, uh, but is every girl's nightmare. Mm. Nothing personal against Tom. He's having a blast. Okay. <laughs> you've you've had uh, a few videos yeah. with with some different lady Girls. friends. Yeah. yeah. And I saw you went one, you went to... Uh, 
Golan. Golan, yeah. I saw one you went to like an amusement park kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chocolateville. Chocolate okay, Ville, yeah. cool. I mean, I've never even like heard of half these places yeah. you go to, but um, that one, what what. What was what was she saying about getting married? Or everybody's commenting about getting married. <laughs> yeah, it was a first date, right? At yeah, this yeah, amusement yeah, park. But thing. Like, we, I think we'd met bef- like we'd met before for a drink, but very quickly. And then yeah. obviously we went and did that, shot the video and everything. And she was a cool girl and yeah. everything. But yeah, just I I, I you know. know I know. But people that you know, it, entertainment too. You know, people that don't live here, they're so used to like the dynamic between men and women are like dating yeah. being a certain way yeah. i think here things can be like a lot more chill relax go. What, what do you think about the dating here well this guy said, actually this was on that video i think it said he said um dating in southeast asia is not like the west thai yeah. girls date with a purpose yeah. she likes him highly likely she's not kidding about the marriage thing <laughs> Come on I, now, I, Eric. You, you've lived in Thailand yeah, a long I mean, time, too. Uh, you know, I, I don't totally disagree with him. I think that... Um, I just think the culture is very different. Yeah. And it takes getting used to to understand exactly what people mean or exactly how they feel. And I think that's why a lot of times when you see people commenting, they're like, what is going on here? Like, they're confused. Yeah. Because they're they're looking at what you're doing or what I'm doing. And they're comparing it to their situation in America or yeah. Europe, and it's just it's just different here. So I don't know if you <laughs> if you ask me what I think about what what did you ask me? I said what do you think about the date in here? Like you're you're a young guy like me because yeah. we're like younger expats living here. Yeah, Let's yeah, be yeah. serious. Most of the expats that live in here are older. Yeah, I know there is a good group of young people too. So like, how do you feel about like what the Thai girls think about you? Okay, so I'll 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 put a few things out there since like there are so many comments yeah. on this. Uh, I think the Thai girls or Asian women in general are super respectful. Yeah. Generally speaking, not mm-hmm. every single person, but generally speaking, super respectful, especially compared to where I come from in Boston, USA. <laughs> um, I've never uh, there's been one exactly one time that I dated a girl, I only went on like three dates with her, where she asked me for money. And it was oh, 500 okay. baht, because okay. she had to pick something up at the post office. Yeah. And I said no, because I didn't want to start yeah, that snowball, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've never been asked for money besides that. Um, often, if I go out with a girl here, mm. she will actually pay, want to pay for dinner. Doesn't mean I necessarily let her, yeah, maybe yeah. I will you know, third, fourth date, something like that. Yeah. But the fact that I just feel they want to invest more, mm-hmm. they, it's like, they want to do things to show respect or. Yeah. The whole, gra- the, the whole like dating and girl scene here, yeah. it's, it's very weird and like complex. I think, yeah. you know, it would give me like a weird experience you had. I don't know. Just for me, like, I would think, like, generally, not just about Thai girls, girls in general. I think if you want to, like, take out the woman, you know, on a date, you sh- like, the guy sure. should be the one that pays, sure. you know. Especially when you know that you make considerably more than them. Yeah. But in another way in Thailand, what you have to be careful about is what you said. You don't want to fall into the trap of she sees, like, you live a good life and she wants to follow everywhere for the wrong reason. Oh, of course. You know, so you have to be very careful about that here because it does happen a lot. I think when you're here for, see, I think guys get in trouble because Mm. they get here and when they're fresh here they go deep oh, and yeah. that's but if you've been here for a little while you start to see oh I, the warning I signs within, i know within like exactly. 10 minutes of speaking i'll give to you the, the number one sign that i've noticed like let's say i meet let's just say hypothetical situation yeah. i meet a girl at a bar or a nightclub yeah. and then we're going somewhere else to get food or somewhere other destination after if we get a taxi mm. and the taxi driver says some like insane price yeah and she's just like oh yeah, yeah whatever yeah, yeah. Can, yeah just it's okay it's not it's not a good thing on the opposite side if we get a taxi and then she tries to pay for the taxi or the tuk-tuk like mm-hmm. it's 60 baht 100 baht whatever and she tries to pay yeah i think that's a very good sign yeah because it sure, shows sure. that it just i think they do it because they want to indicate something to you the 100 baht by itself doesn't mean anything yeah. it's it's the uh it's 
the action that speaks more than anything. And I think it all depends where you meet the girls oh. too, right? Oh, what are you saying? You can't meet a, a nice girl at Nana Plaza? No. Okay. <laughs> I'll <laughs> Definitively. Tell you, I'll tell you that for facts now. No. And guys who think they can, they're like smoking something because they cannot. And I'll tell you, I lived in Soy 4 for one year. I know every girl working on Soy 4, literally, you can walk down there with me one time if you don't believe me. Everyone say, hey, Tom, hey, Tom. I live down that street. I know everyone on that street. They talk to me. They tell me the stories of them and foreigners. Yeah. And I'm just like, ah. Oh. Like, but guys a, still come. A lot of them get kick out of you know, uh, uh, get a kick out of those little schemes they run. Yeah, yeah. I, and I, I just think like all the information that's out there, people who say, oh, you can find a bar girl that's good. Yeah, maybe she's like a good person because many of them are good people. Some of them are yeah. my friends. But if you're gonna think you're gonna wife her, I think you're mad. Okay, that's fair. I think you're really mad. Where did you meet your ex girlfriend? From. The one from the Philippines. In in Philippines, in Cebu. Yeah, but how did you meet her? Like at a bar or... <laughs> I was going to say. Like, 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 I don't mean a go-go this, bar. This I is going to sound really funny now. On a street corner. Uh, that's not that <laughs> but weird. Not, <laughs> but, but not like that. Like we were just like passing. And oh, then okay. I asked something. She could speak English very well. And I was shocked about that. Like, but she didn't have the Filipino accent. Then we just got talking. She was like asking why I'm here. And at that time, I didn't have YouTube or anything. I was trying to start actually a travel blog website. And then she like was like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. I'm going here soon. Would you like to join? So oh, okay. yeah, that's kind see, of I totally believe that started like that. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, that can happen here it, quite easily. Like one of the number one questions I see is where can I meet a good Thai girl? Yeah. And I think, I mean, I've met, I've used Tinder mm -hmm. or dating apps. Mm -hmm. That's hit or miss. Uh, I've met girls at the mall, yeah. like they work in the whatever store and they're just casual talking. Yeah, I've, I've met girls in nightclubs. So I think I know you can meet people in a lot of places, good people in a lot of places, but some places are a little more risky than others. For sure, for yeah. sure. Um, so now, are you, a, are you a free man? Are you a single man? Yes. Because I, I saw a comment <laughs> that was like, Tom is now the Hugh Hefner of Thailand. Oh, is nah, there any truth to that? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I mean, of course, like, we're all guys here. We can talk freely. Of course, I like girls, you know. But for me, when I choose the girl, she has to, like, be good in many ways for me to stay with her. And I have had long-term relationships. My first Thai girlfriend I was with for five years. Uh, the Philippine girl I was yeah. with for three years. But... um. I will say this about Thailand. It is a lot harder to find a good girl than really? the Philippines. And I know this is going to piss off a lot of people, a lot of Thai girls, but it is because even Thai girls I've met who are good girls working like normal jobs, you know, not in bar, not in clubs, not around that scene, live far from Sukhumvit area. They're still sneaky. They well, still I, like to talk to many foreigners. I and think part of it is just being in Bangkok. Mm. It's such a huge city with people coming from all over the world. Yeah. Maybe that temptation or those opportunities, maybe there's not as much in mm. the Philippines. What do you think? Uh, not as much. Nowhere near as much where yeah. I lived in Cebu. I was like always the youngest guy walking around. So probably that's why I got more attention there too. Uh, not as many tourists go there. And if they do go there, they're not in the city. They go to the beach places. So, Have you ever had a bad experience with uh, or like someone you're dating or you found out she was trying to pull something or... In Thailand? Yeah, something like that. Okay. So, yeah. Pretty much like I've been with a girl before in Thailand and she's pretty much perfect about everything. I thought, oh, like she's a really good girl, you know. But do you know when you just have like... Oh, a, you, have, you have a feeling. Something's got off. feeling, yeah. right? Where did you meet her? Where did I meet her? Oh, shit. That's a good question. I cannot remember. I think in the mall as well. But like she was living far out from Sukhumvit, you know. Like okay. far. Never, never went really come to Sukhumvit area. And yeah. I knew because when she come to meet me here, she didn't really know like anywhere where to go, right? So everything about it just seemed like too perfect and i was like i've been with enough girls in my life in many different countries to know like something's not right you know so 
I was like, there's no way a Thai girl is going to finesse me for sure. So I was like, right. And I'm, I'm not normally like this kind of person, but I was like, I just don't, I just don't trust the, everything she says about a job, about this, about this. She wants to meet in this time and she's very like structured when she wants to yeah. meet. So I was like, I have to be a bit, act differently to catch, like you, you can always catch someone out if they're lying, right? So I was like, oh, what's up? What time are we meeting? 6 p.m. All right, where are you? I'm at work. She already told me where she worked previously. I, I cannot say obviously on video, but um, I just said, okay, I don't, I don't believe her. So I went to her work. She was not there. So I messaged her. I was inside her work and I was like, oh, um, I might come a bit earlier. She's like, no, nah, don't come earlier. I was like, where are you? I was like, at work. And I say, where you work again? She said, the place, you know. I went, are you sure? She went, yeah. I said, that's funny because I'm standing there and you're not there. She read the message. I called. No answer. I was like, got yeah. <laughs> <She> disappeared. <laughs> disappeared, but she, she didn't. She come, tried to make some excuse. And I was like, you think you're smart? Open your phone. Open the phone. Many guys. Ask, she, she never asked me for money, but... Asking guys, oh, living in America, living in Europe. Oh, yeah, I like you. Can you send me 2,000 baht? Can you send me 4,000 baht? And I was like, oh. Yeah. I will tell you off camera. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> on one hand, I uh, I almost can't blame them. Obviously, you know, you don't like it. Yeah. But here, I think there's a mentality, especially if you are an attractive girl mm -hmm. from up in the provinces. Mm -hmm. You have to survive. Mm -hmm. and you have to play the game to climb the ladder and survive and, you know, pay. Because a lot of people don't realize here, they think that these girls, they just ask for money for their family and it's BS. But normal girls, they support their family here. Normal for guys sure. help support the family. It, sure. it's, it really is a cultural yeah. thing here. That that part of it is not a scam. Yeah. So I think some of these girls, right or wrong, feel a responsibility to bring in money, extra money, to be able to help support the family. Yeah. Um, there's probably better ways to do it than, you know, scamming well, the guys, but th this is the thing I think about it as well. Um, a lot of it's laziness. That, that is a great word that has been my, that, you know what? That was my word of the week. I had a conversation with someone. I had a tough conversation with someone this week. Mm -hmm. I won't say who, but it was a female <laughs> and the word laziness was part of the conversation. Mm -hmm. And I, I've noticed that because I just compare like, okay, I'll compare with the Philippine girl I was with. She grew up way poorer than anyone in Thailand yeah. did because Philippines is a lot poorer than Thailand. And if she can work hard for a couple of years and make her life probably better than even us, anyone can do it, but they're just lazy. I 100% agree with you. Yeah. Especially, you know, a while back, I... Uh, I was with a friend, we were getting dinner mm -hmm. and he had been talking to this girl on Tinder and he's like, oh, she's across the street right now at this bar across the street. We were in Tang Law. Yeah. And so he's like, you want to go? She has a friend. Mm -hmm. So we went across the street and we met her and her friend. Gorgeous girls, mm -hmm. gorgeous. I mean, his girl was absolutely beautiful and the friend, and I, I have to be a little careful because I bet the, her boyfriend <laughs> might see this now. Okay. <laughs> He doesn't know it, but the, the her current boyfriend, he's an Italian guy. He goes to the same barber I do now, just coincidentally. Uh -huh. I haven't had an awkward run in yet. But anyway, <laughs> the, the friend, stunning. Like one of the most beautiful Thai girls I've ever seen. Yeah. She's literally like a sportswear model. Yeah. Um, and she was like uh, in some beauty pageant, whatever, Miss This 2022. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so we're having drinks and we're talking about whatever. And then she's like oh, you guys are so lucky because, you know, you're European, you're American. Like we said, what do you mean? Because mm -hmm. he has an online business, my friend. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, oh, well, you know, just there's no opportunities here. And then we were like, well, what we're doing right now for work, mm. you can do the exact same thing. Exactly. As, and it's easier if you're a beautiful girl. Exactly. And so my friend said, well, what did you do last night? And she's like, I don't know. I was drinking at home. And he said, well, that's the problem. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, I think everybody has certain advantages and disadvantages. Yeah. But for sure, if this girl wanted to do anything, she can do like it. any field, whether it's YouTube or mm. something else, she could go on Instagram and yeah. message whoever the top guy is in that field and be like, can you help me? 
ninety percent chance that guy is going to respond and for help sure. her, <laughs> for sure, right? Yeah. And that's some that's a benefit that we we don't have. Yeah, for but sure. I think everybody's going to kind of use what they have, mm-hmm. you know, in a way that helps them, and maybe that doesn't scam guys from other countries. But like, if because uh, many people ask me, I'm sure that ask you too. Like, what advice would you give to other people that come to Thailand and want to date? I would number one is like maybe start slow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and number two is like you did ask a lot of questions you have to. because it's hard for them to make such like an elaborate lie you'll yeah. catch them pretty easily yeah, that's the thing like i like i like to know the girls quickly because i don't want to waste my time i can literally sit with a girl for one night yeah. get a little bit drunk with her and i'll know if she's good or not good yeah if you know what to ask yeah the Very truth important. comes out you'll see that like i met this girl uh, and I'm going to say her real name because she deserves it. Her name is Pear. Yeah. And I think I met her on Tinder initially. And she just looks like nice, sweet Thai girl. I met her at a French restaurant, like cafe place in Siloam one time for, for like a early dinner. Mm-hmm. And I think I went out with her maybe somewhere between three and five times. I don't know. Very pretty, whatever. She said, um, so I asked her like, oh, where are you from? What do you do? And this is where she said she's from Hua Hin. Okay. But she's just been in Bangkok and she just goes to this French restaurant every day to hang out. Uh-huh. And my, my, you know, alarms are going yeah, off yeah. because what do you mean you go here to this French restaurant that's not cheap, cheap. to hang yeah. out every day? Where are you staying? Oh, I'm staying with my friend, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, I have this cafe business in Hua Hin, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, this is not true. But, you know, just let that sit. Later on, ask her some more questions. And slowly, you kind of can see how the story doesn't make sense. And then one night, um, she was supposed to meet me. And she's like, oh, I'm really sorry. I have to drive my cousin to Pattaya. Okay. Like all of a sudden, I yeah. have to go to Pattaya. I mean, come on. So I said, okay, okay, you go. So she goes and whatever. So then like the following week, we're chilling at a bar. Actually, we were at the game. Okay. We're at the same bar I met you. <laughs> same bar we met. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, her phone, now she had broken her phone. Mm-hmm. So she had like a replacement, like a backup phone. And she left it on the table and then she went to the bathroom. And I guess because this was like a replacement phone or whatever, yeah. um, she didn't lock it because it had like a cracked screen and uh-huh. I guess it was hard to lock. Some guy starts messaging her yeah. and all of the messages are coming up on the screen, screen. and I can see it. And basically what, what this guy was saying was that he paid her 25,000 baht to come see him in Pattaya. And I guess he didn't get what he wanted, and she scammed him and blah, 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 blah. You know, the whole yeah. story. So after that, I didn't, I didn't really talk to her anymore. I didn't tell her that's I knew, crazy, huh? but you know, that's you the kind knew, of stuff yeah. that happens. Well, but, it does. But the thing is, she never asked me for money. She never asked anything for well, me. See, some of them are smart too. And they know like, we're young and they know if we live here, they might like be like, oh, I left the work a bit more on them. Whereas like tourists just coming in, they'll be like, oh, easy, you know? So of course guys come to Thailand to pay for sex, right? Yeah. So it's like, for example, like some of the bars, if you go Cowboy Nana, of course, like pretty much every bar, right? But um, also what people don't realize is like bars like Hillary, even the game, you'll have like pretty girls sitting on yep. the tables and they will start talking to you and you will just think, oh, she's like a really nice, lovely girl. She'll say she works in a nail salon or something like that, but she's not. She freelance. Well, I can well, tell pretty quickly. And you if know they what? Are, you she can, could I'm be sure. working in a nail salon too, but also doing all this other stuff. For sure. Yeah. But it 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 happens, and I see a lot of guys when I'm out. They're like, "Oh yeah," and they're buying drinks, buying drinks, buying drinks. And at the end, when she obviously says, "Oh no, you have to give me money," they're like, "Oh, I, I thought <laughs> yeah. I thought you liked me." I'm like, you know. Yeah. You can. I think you know when you're here a bit, you can normally sense from mm-hmm. the way the conversation starts going yeah. what the deal is. But it, like I said, it's very complex, isn't it? it in is. a way, it it's really more of like is. an intuition thing. Yeah. So this girl, listen to what happened. This girl, mm. Pear, Pear. I hope you watch this. <laughs> um, so I didn't talk to her after that. I didn't message her. I just stopped talking to her. Yeah. Two months goes by. I'm dating a new girl. Mm-hmm. We're in Phuket. Okay. And I'm sitting at the airport, waiting to get on the plane to come back to Bangkok. It's like 10 at night and I'm actually showing this new girl I'm dating something on my phone. Like we're looking at it together. And while we're both looking at my phone, this girl messages me 
I know. It's the awful oh. feeling. She said, where are you? Or yeah. something like that. Your heart just goes like, boom. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, I, and of course the girl's like, who's that? Blah, blah, blah. You know, the whole, I'm like, no, no, one, no. One. So I tell her like, oh, I'm in Phuket. I'm about to get on the plane and fly back. Mm. This, this is how insane some Thai girls are. I fly back. We come back to the condo. I go upstairs. I get a message. Hey, I'm outside. This girl looked up my flight, what flight it was, and then like timed it to the minute and then waited outside, saw me go inside, obviously, with the other girl. And then's like, I'm I'm here. That's nuts. That's mad. (laughs) But but you know what? You know why she was so desperate? I figured it out to come over because she has a car and she has nowhere to stay for whatever reason. Maybe she had plans with some guy or something and Mm. then it didn't work out. And she knew she could park her car at Uh, my place in the garage. So she's like, oh, whatever, I'm just gonna show up. I don't care. And so this insane girl just showed up and then the girl I'm with obviously is not gonna believe yeah, that I like, haven't been talking to this girl. Yeah, for Because sure. they, they have no idea this kind of stuff happens. So I had to make up some excuse, and I basically got rid of both of them. Oh, my but, God. But um, <laughs> the, the reason I this is at the front of my mind is because I'm at Terminal 21 the mm-hmm. other day, and I'm in H&M, and I just, whatever, I'm walking out, and this girl goes, Eric? And I look up, and there she is, this girl, Pear. I, ha- I hadn't seen her since. Oh, but I, I think like that as well i don't know like you you live obviously in this area but like i'm going out pretty much every day as well you know yeah. so like i'm walking around and you start to see like the same faces all oh, the yeah, time yeah, yeah. so if you see like chicks in bars like every night oh, yeah. and they tell you the working as like i don't know in 7-eleven it's like where are they getting the money to exactly go out every night yeah you know? these girls they'll go that's a weird thing about here that i noticed that's different than um like the u.s Mm -hmm. girls in the u.s pretty much never buy bottles never buy a table oh they do here you go to sugar you go wherever these girls are spending like twenty thousand baht thirty thousand baht whatever yeah uh, on like a weekly basis and i'm sorry but there's no way this girl is a waitress and dropping you know even ten thousand i think that's one of the main things to look out for isn't it it's like if you know their job and you're thinking well they're going here going there going everywhere their salary like doesn't add up to that you know you have to start to think like alarm bells and many like might have a kid with a foreigner or some foreigner taking care of them sending them money that's why they're able to do it like but for me it's easy to know quickly like i'm sure it is for you you just see the red flags and i'm like yeah so something's up and it's kind of it's kind of like a fun game to me to kind of figure out what's going on like I, i knew this girl um very good looking she's a nurse and at first I thought it was maybe like a lie, but she actually is a nurse, okay. but at like a eye clinic or something, not at a hospital. And um, this girl was out like almost every night and she's always spending money on bottles. She's inviting me and my mm-hmm. friends to join her and she's paying. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. And then I found out cause I had another friend of a friend that actually was dating her for a while. She has a, some guy, I don't know if it's like a husband or what in Switzerland and he's just, you know sending over whatever Mm -hmm. so and And then but then she's going out with all these other guys i'll I'll tell you something crazy as well because like i said i have a lot of thai friends and i do know one thai girl this will shock you one she had one guy sending the money guess how much every year every every year every year well he was sending it on a monthly basis yeah, but he um, added up to what every year in bar i don't know what's the what's the going rate for a thai girl where's the guy from (laughs) He was from, I'm not sure, but from Europe somewhere. From Europe. And he stays in Europe? Yeah. And she stays here? He had a wife. Oh, so this is like a side girl. Mm. I don't know. A year? Maybe, maybe, even if it was $1,000 a month, that's 12000 a year. That's like 400000 500000 baht a ten, year. 10 million baht a year. 10 million baht? $250,000 a year. Is that right? I bet. Um, so yeah, a million would be thirty thousand ten. Yeah, around mm. there, two hundred fifty, three hundred thousand mm. US. Mm-hmm. Why? That's what I want to know. Yeah, that's what I want to know too. I, I was th- like, I, 
like I know her and I said for, like she got angry and I don't mean to say bad because she's a good looking yeah. girl I said really for you like not not in a bad way but I'm like that that is a lot of money yeah that is more than like the top percent make in some countries and I was like that's ridiculous yeah and I, they do there's some guys sending girls out here a lot a lot of money I think in these situations where the guys aren't even here mm. they're like long distance I think a lot of times they just want to feel like like wanted or they want to feel loved. Yeah. Even if they're not physically with the person. And I think I think as well because like Thailand's got this reputation obviously about the girls and stuff. I think I just feel like even regular girls when I've been here I've seen guys like oh I will take care of you I will do mm. this for you it's like a more common thing that happens here than another country because yeah, sure. I've, I've lived in many countries actually you know so I have like ex experienced a lot with like girls relationships different countries and I always just find in Thailand it's like you'll just get like your average guy coming over here who like maybe just normal salary in his country his money goes a bit further here then he's selling like her the dream and oh, right. do you know do you know they go up to the regular girls yeah i'll take care of you i, I think it's hard you. for girls here i've noticed yeah. to distinguish a lot of times the foreigners that come here mm -hmm. you know where they're from are they middle class are they like wh yeah. what's their situation in their home country yeah. because when you come here especially if it's for a short amount of time like a few months oh, at a time yeah. A few weeks you can live like a millionaire oh for sure but yeah. it's i think a lot harder for like you and me if we're here all the time we can't keep that up <laughs> for well, sure it's a lot harder people don't realize thailand's a bit expensive yeah, too, oh, especially bangkok like yeah. i mean you know it's yeah. all relative yeah so um I, i'll tell you one more thing i i recently ran into this girl again very very beautiful mm. i met her a while ago and when i met her a while ago she told me she had this boyfriend from america mm -hmm. and her exact quote was, oh, he's good for me. And what that translates to, guys, is that he sends me money. Oh, she has a kid too. So she said, she said he's good for me and my, my boy, meaning he sends her money and he stays in America and she stays here. Well, I saw this girl again recently, the other night, and I guess she's engaged because I saw her the wedding ring. Mm -hmm. But she was at the bar with another guy. And yeah. what's worse is I was talking to her for a while and I was like, oh, do you ever go back to your uh, your hometown, Sarin? Mm. And she's like, oh, actually, I was just there buying land for my husband. So, like, let me translate that again. <laughs> the guy in America sent her money to buy land, which he can't put in his name. Mm. So, it's in her name for sure. And she's at a bar at three in the morning with another dude. Yeah. And he has no idea. That's a super common very, situation. Very common. Very yeah. common. Yeah. It's sad in a way, and it makes it makes you and you shouldn't judge all people the same. I don't right. think because of course there's well, many. Good you know where tigers. this girl works. I, I mean, I'll give you three guesses, but you'll need probably one. Go on, uh, soy four. Oh. Uh, like I think Hillary or one of those bars yeah, over there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, this guy probably visited here on a two week vacation, met her. He's like, oh my god. And by the way, the guy's like a. Not putting anyone down, yeah. but the guy's a, yeah. a tradesman in the California. This girl is like a 10 out of 10. Mm. In California, this girl isn't even going to look at him, exactly, right? Exactly, for sure. So to come here, I think guys get their heads twisted and, you know. Fantasy yeah. is greater than reality, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I, and I, by the way, I think it can still happen. I think you can still find a beautiful oh, Thai for girl sure, for sure. that's totally loyal to you and great. But you got to be careful. Yeah, for sure. Like, and it's interesting because my first girlfriend, she was already living in Ireland. She was a Thai girl, you know, we were five years. But she literally, she's Thai. And she told me everything about Thai girls. And she knows I live here now. And she always tells me, be careful, be careful. Yeah. And that's coming from another Thai girl, you know, so... Yeah, it's Bangkok, especially especially around where we're living, around this area. It's. Uh, you mind if I ask you this question? Because this again, this comes up a lot, and you don't have to answer if you yeah, don't want yeah. it. But when you were dating any of these girls before, yeah. you, you don't even have to say which one. Did you ever feel that there was an expectation that you needed to help support the family? No. Yeah. No. I, and, and by the way, I wouldn't be surprised if you said yes, but I also wouldn't be surprised if you said no, because no. I never had that either. But I think a lot of people out there think 
that's yeah. normal. A lot of people always say that, oh, if you get with the Thai girl, Philippine girl, you're going to be supporting the family for the rest of your life. But I don't believe that's true, you know. Um, in some cases, yeah. But in most, I think not. And by the way, for me anyway, mm. if I was marrying someone, mm -hmm. I would want to help their family. Yeah. If but, I could. Yeah, of course. I'd be the same, but it's like you said, it depends when they start asking. Oh, no, that's the it? thing. Yeah. I, I, I would want to do it myself. Yeah. Like, I, it would be my own decision. Yeah. If they came to me a month into dating them, being asking me for whatever, that would yeah. be a big red flag. Mm, for sure. And it even goes back to when I first meet a girl. If I ask them, okay, let's go for dinner. Where you want to go? Yeah. If she says, like, five-star rooftop bar, you just know, just bin it, just forget it, because yeah. she's well, only in it for the my, money. My favorite thing about that is, you know, you'll bring them there, yeah. and then they'll take five million selfies, Instagram photos, and then you won't be in it. You won't be in yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah. And you always know, like, like, okay, I've got Thai, I've got Thai girlfriends who have money, and this will tell you the difference, and I believe this is true too. So, like, you go to them, I've been with them in nice restaurants, they never pull out the phone and take a picture of the steak or the lobster. Do you know why? Because they can go and eat it every day. So that means they have money to go out every day and buy the steak and lobster, right? Yeah. So if your girl's whipping out a phone like bang, 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 yeah. she's not eating steak too much. It's That's like she wants worst. to show off, you it, know? I think now if I went out with a girl to any restaurant, really, and they, they do the whole thing where like they take photos and everything yeah. and they like, maybe you can, be, well, they won't even put your hand in it. You, you're lucky if you can get your hand they'll, in the photo. They'll probably caption it on Instagram later, heartbroken, someone want to go and eat with me <laughs> and you're the one who paid for them, you know? That's the kind yeah, of stuff yeah. that would be going on, but funny stuff really funny but thai girls are good i do like thai girls they're fun they're very fun easy going i think the best thing about them why people fall in love with thai girls a lot it's the very caring like you'll never have to cook you'll never have to clean the house i'm not being a but yeah, what wait, no, this is a free yeah. speech zone. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so yeah, the, I think they're very caring, but in return, they want you to take care of them, which I think is fine. Because if you go back to when our parents were younger, sure. that's the way it was. The man worked, the woman sure, stay sure. home, take care of the children. You know, they're still like that here. They're not really like they are in America, where they they want to be men. Basically, you know, the girls. You know, they're like, no, I can do everything a man can do, but they cannot. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah, I think the gender roles here are very, like, old school, but it's nice, too. She will take care of the house, take care of the kids, take care of everything, but you're expected to take care of the finances. Yeah, I, I said this in a previous episode, but before I came here, mm. I knew a lot of guys came to Asia, you know, to meet women or whatever, but I assumed it's because they liked their look, yeah, the, like the Asian look or whatever. And when I got here, mm. I realized, yeah, that's part of it, mm. maybe, but... A lot of it, a big chunk of it is what you just described, yeah. is the dynamic of the relationship between men and women. Mm -hmm. It's totally different here than in the West. Oh, for sure. Yeah. 100%. And it's nice. It's not a bad thing. Um, all right, Tom. So do your, the million dollar question is, mm -hmm. do you see yourself staying in Thailand forever? I cannot say forever because I'm the type of person, I don't know what I could do next week, but... I've, like I said, I've lived in many different countries. I've lived in Ireland, England, Spain, here, Philippines. And I always feel like so comfy when I come back to Thailand. When I land in Thailand, I feel like it's my home, you know. So, yeah, I can see myself staying here for the time. I'm actually thinking to buy a place here next year also. So, yeah, for now, I'll, I should be staying here or I'll be buying something here so I can come back every so often. So, yeah, it's going to be a base for me for sure. Okay. And if, if someone was thinking about moving here, but they've maybe only been here once or they haven't spent that much time here, what would you suggest that they do to kind of get that process going? Hmm. Like, what are the first steps? I think people asked me this when I was in the Philippines too. I think the most important, like you said, is come out here a few times first. Really like... Don't try and hang out in expat bars too. Try and like go in a more local area and just like get involved in the Thai culture, the Thai people and see if you can stay here. Because I think many come, like you said, on the two week holiday, it's like Pattaya, Nana Plaza, Soy Cowboy. Oh yeah, this place is great. 
but like you said, you live here. You cannot, well, you can do it every day, but you're not going to do it every day. You won't day, last you know? very long. You that's not for last sure. Long. I mean, I've lasted quite long, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, my vice is not girls, you know, like some guys, like you said, they're going to drink bottles, bottles, go with girls every night. Yeah. They, they're gone, you know? Yeah. So I, I would just say, come out here a few times, really see if you like it first before you decide to make the move. All right. Good advice. Where can people find you online? Just my YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. It's the same. Roman I'll put it Hogan. on the screen, but yeah. what is it? Roman Hogan. Roman Everything. Hogan. And uh, your channel, like what kinds of content do you have on there? If people have never seen it. Just totally random, like go- goals from different countries, apartment tours, just basically what I'm doing. Just yeah. totally random And I'll say stuff. it again. What I like about his channel is he just has, do you have the camera with you? Do you have your little camera? No, I don't oh, have okay. it with me. He, he showed me a photo of it. He's got a, like just a little camera and yeah. it's like you're in the room. It's none of this like, yeah. oh, I live a influencer life kind of thing. Nah. It's just, this is what it's like being a guy in this country. Yeah. Like you're in the room, you're on the date with them. And I don't know. It's just- I mean, I don't I, know if you saw the ones in Philippines when I went down the like slums where people, please stop me before I went down there and said, don't go down there, you'll be robbed. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I don't care. I just film what I do, you know? And I think that's why people kind of like it. They're just like, oh, he doesn't care. He says what he says. If it offends some people, so be it. You, you cannot please everyone, right? You know yourself. You can be the best person, like help out people. And they will say, oh, he only did it for the content. He only did it for mm. the likes, you know? Right. Like I saw before when you did the other channel, you helped at the Cambodia, Cambodian girl. Yeah. That girl's actually Cambodian, right? Uh, uh, living she's in Bangkok. half, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so. Like that, even if you do something like that, they'll say, oh, he just did it for the views. I've had stuff like this, you know, yeah. you help out people. Oh, I just did it for the views. It's like, come on. Yeah, I, I know exactly I don't what need you the views. I don't even need to do YouTube, you know. Like I was, I was coming and staying in Thailand long before I ever started doing YouTube. I traveled to 30 countries before I ever started doing YouTube. Cool. I cannot say... Like you asked me before and I was thinking about it while I was talking, but I will tell you off camera, like what other things I do, but I never say on camera and it winds well, a lot obviously of pe- it's only fans, right? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It winds a lot of people up, but it's okay. You know, you don't have All to right. share everything. Sure, like I said, yeah. some things are better left off alone, right? Sure. So yeah. All right, guys, I will put a link to Tom's channel down below. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, I know you guys have a lot of complaints. Go for it. Drop them <laughs> down there. Give me your best shot. If you guys want to see more videos of life here in Bangkok, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.